Hello, welcome to this video. In this video, we'll see how to create a box in Shiny Dashboard Package. We can understand box as containers. So as you can see here, got different boxes. This one is a box with a plot. Here is another box with a plot. Down here, I've got some data in the box. Here on the right hand side, I've got an input widget, a select input in the box. So these boxes can be used to house widgets, plots, or data and can be added to the dashboard. It gives a nice look, a nice separation. Let's go to Alice Studio and check on how to code for them. We are in UI.R and we'll use the box function to create the box. We'll start with loading the required packages. We'll load the Shiny, Shiny Dashboard, Plotly and Datasets packages. Plotly is used because we are creating some plots using Plotly and Datasets because we are using MTCars dataset. In Shiny UI function, we've got the dashboard page. We are having a title inside the dashboard header function. We've got the dashboard sidebar, sidebar menu, and then we have the menu item called box. The tab name is also box. We've got an icon using the icon function and the name of the icon is check. Then we have got the dashboard body. In the tab items function, we are defining our tab items. So we have got the tab item. We have got just one page. So the tab name is box. This is same as the tab name given here. We have got two rows as we saw in the app. The first row is here fluid row and the second row is defined here. In the first row we had two boxes box 1 and box 2. We are using the box function and we have defined the title of the box as box with a plot and what we, we are showing here it contains the plotly output. Plotly output has got the output object as plot 1 and we have given certain height to the plot. Similarly, another box we have is also having a plot inside it and we used plotly output again to display that plot. In the second row, instead of plots, we had a data table. And so within the box function, we've given the title as box with data table and we've got the data coming in with the help of table output. Data is the data output object coming from server.r. We've defined the width as 8. Remember in the row the total width is 12. So you can divide uh, based on how you want the allocation to be. I want the allocation to be 8 plus 4. The next box has title box with input widget. We have got a select input widget come in uh, uh, from server.r as render UI and I've used here UI output with the output object name input widget and width equals 4. Server.r I've got the first render function as render table. This is just to show the first few observations of empty cards data set. Then I've got render plotly to have the first plot which is a scatter plot. Then I've got another render plotly, which is nothing but the second plot with the histogram. Here we have render UI. This is just so that um, we send the select input to the UI. The select input has all the column variables. The choices are coming from the empty cars dataset. 